the 5 and 0 Navy midshipmen. Yeah. Cindy, how does that sound? It it it's amazing and it's a real tribute to our captains, to our players, to everybody on the bench. It's a whole team effort. We've talked about this, how amazing it is for Navy women's lacrosse to step out on this field, beautiful Navy Marine Corps Stadium and really have a solid effort against a really tough Richmond team, a team that went to the double A's last year, a team that is probably going to win their conference. So I couldn't be more proud of what these players represent, which goes far beyond what they do on the field. 14-5 to five win over number 20, Richmond. <laughs> you spoke to the leadership on this team. For someone like Maggie DeFabio, a sophomore, to score a hat trick in the second half and get as many <laughs> ground balls as she did, I believe, seven for the day. Just what does that speak to a testament to the leadership on yeah, this team? Yeah, I mean, that that's something that it's real pure grit play, the little things that end up being big and ground balls. Not everybody looks at that stat, but it's an extra possession. She's been playing solid, great, both ends of the field. That's a lot to expect out of a, you know, a Division One athlete to be a full-time midi, and that's what Maggie DeFabio is. All in, all the time, all about lacrosse, but all about the Naval Academy and what she does here. The high point of that first half was Isabel's goal. Thornburg intercepting there in midfield, and then she's jumping for joy, clapping over her head. She scored before. Why was that so special? Well, you know, it's she's a def, she's. We needed to fortify our defense. If you looked at the stat books, we have a young defense with a freshman goalie and a couple of starting freshman uh, defenders. Isabel brings the leadership we need on defense. She was willing to do that, but given the chance, she won across onto the offensive end and nailed a great outside shot against a couple good goal, you know, good goaltender for Richmond. So I'm really happy for her because that just represents what Navy Women's Lacrosse is all about. We didn't get a chance to talk after Tori DiCarlo scored seven goals last week. She yeah. follows it up with a hat trick. What strides have you seen in her leadership this well, year? Well, I, I mean, Tori's just, again, just a wonderful leader. She, You had an opportunity uh, to represent her on online, and she's out there every single day wanting to be a better player, wanting to be a better finisher, and wanting to do it for her teammates. So Tori DiCarlo is the real deal. So what you see on the field is the, is the, is the athlete, the midshipman, the student, that everything that Naval, Naval Academy represents, that's Tori DiCarlo. 5-0 for the first time in 10 years. How does it feel, Cindy? <laughs> well, it feels great. I mean, again, <laughs> this is an all-out team effort. I mean, the crowds have been amazing, having a kind of a, a rainy, cold um, morning, and then having all these wonderful people come out, midshipmen come out, support for the team, uh, a clinic here now. Um, it doesn't get much better than that. All right, good luck next week against Drexel and then on the road at Jacksonville. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you so much.